What's going on guys? Aaron here from Curls on the Rack and today we got another product review. This time it's the Back Widow from Flex Wheeler. We are going to see what this can be used for and how many pieces of equipment can we really get rid of since we have this. Let's get started. All right, guys. Well, before I get started on a more in-depth, hands-on review with this thing, I thought I'd give you guys a close-up of what it looked like right out of the box when it came. I ordered it. It took three days to get here. Um, it has nice welds. There was no damage or anything to the packaging or the product itself. It looks pretty good. Here's it from every angle you can click it into four different positions each one of the handles and the arms you can click into four different positions your lat pull downs neutral grip lat pull downs your rows seated rows uh close grip pull downs seated close grip rows all sorts of different things uh if you want to throw it up into the deadlift jack or um, your t-bar row these are all the different angles that you can get into. And another reason that I wanted to sort of get a quick look at it before I did anything with, with it is that uh, it has no UHM plastic on it. So I knew that when most likely I throw my barbell in the middle of it to do a T-bar row or on one of the sides there to use it as a deadlift jack that it would probably get scratched. All right, guys, so since filming that close-up footage, uh, I've used it two times, and I just want to show you what it looks like now. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is just from once using it as the deadlift jack, and then once it's hitting the, uh, the, the inner part of the sleeve when doing a uh, T-bar row. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, for me, I know some people care about that kind of stuff, but I really don't. I mean, the stuff's made to be used, made to be thrown around. So I just think maybe they could have put some uh, some UHM plastic right here, right here. Uh, I'm not I'm not too worried about this spot here, but you know, just something to think about. Maybe if they do a version two of this thing. But just in case you don't believe me, as you can see, I've not used it on this side yet. So it is uh, it's perfect. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I use it one time here. All right, guys, so go ahead and I'll pop this guy up here. And it should be noted, my barbell, the bar I use for the groundwork anyways, has knurling all the way to the end. Some bars are not going to have that. They're going to have a smooth shaft. So pop it up here. Throw our plate on. Our plan. Now I realize I'd be doing this the other side too, but this is just for demonstration purposes. We're not deadlifting. So then you dump it, and uh, so now that's what the other side looks like. As you can see, it does. Uh, you know, it would just been really nice if they just put some UHM plastic, so that way you would never. It would look smooth or slick all the time. But whatever. It's not really a big deal for me. I know some people out there care about that kind of stuff. That's the only reason I'm putting that in the video. All right, staying with the topic of uh, using it as a deadlift jack, let's go ahead and see how it works. Pop it up, it stays up there. It feels secure. It doesn't feel like uh, you know anything's gonna go anywhere without some, uh, some heavy motion on the bar. Take your other plate. Guy on. Dump it. Pop it off, come over here, do the other side, pop that guy up, get another plate, dump it off. It works pretty well for that, I got, I got to admit. Uh, I think I went, a, I went a little too close here, but the, the plate couldn't go all the way to the end of the sleeve though, but uh, yeah, I mean it feels good. I would definitely recommend uh, using it as a deadlift jack. Okay, the next thing that you can use this thing for is T-bar rows. 
Um, go ahead, you can pop it on here. This is one way to do it. And there's a little divot in the bottom and you can do your rows, close grip, you can angle it out. So if you wanted to get more of a, more of a wide grip T-bar row, adjust the handles here, that guy on there. You got your wide grip there. Now that feels pretty good. It didn't feel like it was gonna slip at all. And the other way to do a T-bar row is you put the hole over the shaft or rather the sleeve of the bar, then you can load your plates up. And this is actually easier for loading your plates up. The other way you'd have to load your plates already, but it's not that big of a deal. Plate on there. And you pop this over. And your rows here and you can also you know go close grip whatever you want I personally like the other method better just because uh, I can put it on there after the fact number one and I I'm a lot uh, it feels you're closer because that uh, that lip up here you can get the handles closer to the actual um, the actual plates so I like that one more so than using it over the sleeve of the bar. All right, so in keeping with my philosophy on maximizing the space in my gym, the real reason that I got this piece of equipment was because I wanted to be able to get some, you know, get rid of some of these attachments. I also did not have a T-bar row, so what I would have to do was put a pad on the bar, take this handle, throw it underneath there, and do you know, do that. So I thought this would be better because it, it provides more angles and stuff, which I do like. Uh, and I just want to be able to get rid of some of this stuff. So without further ado, let's use it on the pulley system. Okay, so the purpose of this portion of the video is not really to make you guys sit there and watch me use a pulley system, but more to showcase the functionality and the different movements you can do with the Back Widow um, and also the transitions. So if you'll notice, you can easily pop them into different positions. Sometimes the pins get a little stuck in there or they don't go in the holes right away, but no big deal. Didn't take me that long to transition. Overall, it feels really good. It feels like a good sturdy piece of equipment that you would use in a commercial gym. Um, you can take it to the commercial gym. I mean, that's pretty cool. It, it doesn't take up much space in your bag, so something to consider. If you're looking for something to take there and they don't always have the equipment that you need, you got something right in your, in your gym bag. You might look a little funny busting it out, but whatever. Doing push downs with this thing didn't really feel as good as being able to use the rope. That way you can get it kind of the full stretch because you can get it more behind your body. You bring the ropes to either side. So I don't think I'll be using this thing to do any kind of uh, push downs.
also rope on this guy too. I, I it didn't feel it didn't feel as good. And plus, you're you're really focusing on uh, not hitting yourself in the head with that thing, so it kind of throws me off a little bit. Now curls were a little bit more difficult just because the piece is so long. I can't get the full stretch at the bottom. Uh, the slide goes out of the line and just didn't work too well, but that's just on my pulley system. If you're somewhere else and you have a, a gym, the pulley system goes down a little bit farther on the post, then maybe it'll work better. Same with the seated rows. I'm not able to get the full stretch when doing it in the neutral grip position, uh, but that's just because I don't have anything set up to push me a little bit farther away so I can get the full stretch. So I had to switch to this guy and still, even then, that's nothing to say that this thing isn't gonna work on a different pulley system or that I can't rig something up to get a little bit farther away from the actual pulley system. Okay guys, so I kind of went over in the voiceover over the footage when I was using the Mac Widow about why I like some of the extra sizes and why I didn't. But now let's go ahead and get to what pieces of equipment I'm actually going to get rid of. Uh, one being the neutral grip uh, pulley system. This one mimics it perfectly. Uh, I don't see any reason to hang on to this one. So you'll see it on uh, Craigslist or offer up for you know, triple the price. No, I'm kidding. Uh, the other one is this guy. Uh, since you're able to, this is a little bit wider of a neutral grip, you can get that same motion with this guy. And you can also get that same motion, you know, if you wanted to do that, push downs, or if you wanted to do curls. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is the fact that this one actually moves freely. So when you pull up at an angle, it always is gonna change. With this one, it doesn't have that free uh, moving piece in the middle, so it's like, uh, you know what, I, I'll go ahead and get rid of this one anyways. Uh, but that brings me to the pieces that I am going to hang on to, and that is the, the bar here, the straight bar. For curls, it's just better, it feels better having that free piece in the middle uh, that rotates with you, rather than being on this one, it's sort of like holes at your hand or you have to bend your wrist in a weird angle so I am going to hang on to this guy um, and the rope I'm definitely going to hold on to the rope it just has more flexibility this doesn't mimic the rope not that they said it was going to mimic the rope but I'm just going through and giving you my two cents on on what I really am going to get rid of I'm going to hang on to the rope because I do like the rope plus when you're doing a you know neutral grip curls uh, this this just feels better and also it rotates uh, the other piece I'm definitely hanging on to and unfortunately I didn't like this one I wanted to get rid of it is the wide grip pull down number one I can get a lot wider on this guy number two this doesn't have any uh, wide grip um, it only has neutral grip if you try to go wide grip on this thing these these handles right here I don't know whose hand they're made for, but they they don't fit my hand. I don't know, a child's hand or something, maybe can get their hand through there. So it doesn't really work. Plus the angle's off when you pull it down. You got most of the force on the, on the middle, and then you're pulling down here, it comes down at a weird angle. So that's the other thing that I'm gonna be keeping. Uh, if, I, if I had any say, or my suggestion, if uh, the manufacturers are watching this, is why not put one more of these guys somewhere over here with another piece of knurled bar that comes off the end. So that way you could fold it in or you know fold it down this way, uh, put it down here, fold it down this way, put it away when you're gonna be using it as a deadlift jack. Uh, it would just give you a little added length on it, plus it would uh, make it so that you didn't have to do a neutral grip, you could actually do a standard grip. So that's my only suggestion. I do like this piece of equipment and uh, I'm glad I got it. It's a little overpriced, but um, it functions pretty well for everything I need and it's just 
one thing I have to hang up rather than uh, the two extras over there. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciated the review on the Back Widow there. Done. Hopefully, I went over everything that you guys wanted to see and I made your decision easier and if you wanted to get one or not. There you go. Uh, as always, we got free workouts over at the website, curlsontherack.com. Uh, we got meal planning, we got all sorts of stuff over there, so check it out. And on the next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to throw a computer or some sort of audio system in the wall cavity of your gym. So, peace out.